with Ying Lak Chinuat coming up to the six-month mark in her term as Prime Minister. Four women recently shared their opinions of the country's first female Premier. Tida Taiwan said, caretaker chairwoman of the Red Shirt Movement said, the government was not a one-man show. A team of principled people should help the leader make the right decisions, and it was up to Pua Thai to help Ying Lak do her job. Tida felt the label of Parrot Premier was unfair, saying that in her opinion, Ying Lak knows when to and when not to speak. The Red Church also believed she was careful and thought things through before making decisions. While her performance to date could not be described as outstanding, Tida said Ying Lak had passed the test and commended her for her hard work during the flood crisis. Bangkok senator Rosana Tosi Trakun was less complimentary about Ying Lak's handling of the flood crisis, comparing her to a learner driver trying to make it up a cliff. Rosana said she was also disappointed in the premier's performance over the past two months, expressing the opinion that she should have focused on solving people's problems and working on the economy. Instead, she had allowed politicians to instigate problems by pushing for such non-urgent issues as amendments to the constitution. Duong Gamon Chotana, president of the Krung Thai Turkic Media, felt Ying Lak's gentle personality was one of her most outstanding qualities and acted as a magnet in attracting others to help her out. She cited as examples Sukme Panti Wechakun, Secretary General of the Chai Patana Foundation, and the other academics who had stepped in and helped out during the flood crisis. Duong Kamon said Ying Lak had got through the crisis as well as most male leaders. She described Ying Lak as a patient and determined person and felt she was a good example of a strong woman. Thammasat University political science lecturer and author of the political and gender power relations, Chalida Pon Song Sampan, regarded the premier as midway between passing and failing her test, saying that several important issues pending since before the election remained undecided. Chalida Pon felt Ying Lak should be more independent and should have been more forthcoming about her intentions, particularly in regard to solving the divisions in the country. She complained that it was impossible to identify the premier's visions about any issue, adding that other people tend to dominate political directions. Konchanok Raksaseri, The Nation's Report for RCN TV.